<laughs> now this is going to be very very interesting and this is exactly what i've been telling you my viewers my supporters in this particular channel here that president william samuel arapoto is a very smart politician president william ruto is indeed the master of politics in the republic of kenya and there is actually no doubt about it completely and in the 2027 general elections let me keep on repeating this particular statement here baka munizoe no matter how this statement here might be painful to some people but it is the reality it is the truth the 2027 general elections will be a walkover for president william samuel arapoto you understand when i say it will be a walkover right it means that the 2027 general elections will be the most easiest election for president william samuel ruto william ruto is going to win the 2027 general elections so if your presidential candidate is Kalonzo Musyoka, the Wiper Party leader, then prepare yourself to be in the opposition side. And by the way, don't get surprised if you also see Kalonzo Musyoka joining President William Ruto and Raila Odinga in the broad-based government ahead of the 2027 elections. I want you to watch this particular video here of President William Ruto today addressing wananchi in Nairobi county you know people are saying that william ruto has already lost the ground but i want you to watch the reaction from the crowd then we proceed in this particular video here <laughs> katika siasa ya migawanyiko na siasa ya ukabila na siasa ya chuki mimi nawauliza Nairobi jameni nataka niwaombe kwa heshima sisi wote ni ndugu moja wa taifa moja na Mungu mmoja na nchi moja mnasema tuungane ama tutengane Nairobi mnasema tuungane ama tutengane jameni wale wanasema tuungane nione kwa mkono wale wanasema tuungane na ndio mimi sawa sawa mimi nimesema tutafanya kazi na viongozi wote wale waliotupigia kura wale hawakutupigia kura wale wa Kenya kwanza wale waazimio sisi wote ni ndugu moja siasa imeisha sasa ni wakati wa sisi viongozi kuungana tuweze kutekeleza mambo ambayo yatabadilisha maisha ya wakenya lakini ningependa kuungana na yale yamesemwa hapa na mwenzetu makamu wa rais tuache mambo ya ukabila na tupendane sisi wote ni wakenya sisi wote ni wakenya so you have heard very well President William Ruto talking about the Kenya Kwanza Alliance and Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance working together ahead of the 2027 general elections in the broad based government right so already there's a plan and I will share with you the factual details in this particular video here there's a plan by President William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga to remove and to replace the current deputy president professor abraham kivure kindiki with the homa bay county governor honorable gladys wanga as the dp in the 2027 elections this decision here comes after what happened yesterday in embu county you know, Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki 
is a very good leader. The truth is, Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki deserves to be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. But the only problem, and it is actually a very, very big problem for Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki, is that Kithure Kindiki does not have votes. The truth of the matter is that politics is a game of numbers. And that is why during this week, President William Ruto appointed Raila Odinga's sister by the name Wenwa Akinyi Odinga in a very powerful position in government. President William Ruto appointed Raila Odinga's sister to chair the Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute Board to signify a very strong unity between Raila Odinga's family and President William Ruto ahead of the 2027 20, elections. Because William Ruto understands that Raila Odinga has numbers. Ruto knows very well that with Raila Odinga on his side, it will be very easy for William Ruto to win the 2027 20, elections. So let me share with you all this interesting information in this particular video. But just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed, for you to receive more political updates, daily political analysis, every time I upload a video here, you will be able to receive notifications. I want you to take one second or two and subscribe to this channel here. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video in particular and this channel to reach out to more people. That is the only way we can improve this channel to grow. So to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers, to my supporters, to the new members, thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't take the support for granted. So if you wish to support this channel, you can use the M-Pesa till number that you are currently seeing on your screen. The M-Pesa number is, I mean, the till number is 3024302. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let us proceed. I want to be very brief. So just follow this analysis to the end. You will understand a lot of things going on. So what happened yesterday in Embu County, whereby President William Ruto and the former head of state, Uhuru Muge Kenyatta, also the former deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa, and the current DP, Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki, met for the very, very first time in a public event. And President William Ruto, together with Professor Kithure Kindiki, received a very cold reception. What happened in Hembu County yesterday, it is exactly what President William Bruto and Ray Lodinga wanted to happen. What happened yesterday in Embu County, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly what William Bruto and Ray Lodinga have been waiting to happen. You know, when William Bruto and Ray Lodinga impeached Rigadi Gashagwa, President William Bruto and Ray Lodinga knew very well that things will no longer be the same again in the Mount Kenya region ahead of the 2027 20, elections. President William Bruto and Ray Lodinga knew very well how the Kikuyus will react after regarding Gashagwa's impeachment. So William Bruto was very much ready to face the hostility, the cold reception, the rejection, the heckling in the Mount Kenya region. So what happened yesterday in Embu? William Ruto was not surprised. President William Ruto was not surprised at all. William Ruto expected that to happen 100%. And that is why William Ruto was just laughing. Because he was prepared. The point is, do you really think that President William Ruto really needs, really depend on the Mount Kenya region votes 
so much like the way William Ruto depended on the Mount Kenya region votes in the previous 2022 generations? The answer is no. William Ruto will still be the president without depending too much on the Mount Kenya region votes. That is the reality. But Professor Abraham Kiture Kindiki here is very unlucky at the top as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. A decision has already been made and President William Ruto together with Raila Odinga are planning to remove Kiture Kindiki in the 2027 general elections as the DP. Let me read for you this statement here, this shocking statement that says, I want you to listen very keenly. Opportunity, opportunity only comes once and nothing like I wish I knew. We have waited for such an opportunity to present itself. And whoever wasted his opportunity, that is upon them. Governor Gladys Wanga is fit for the deputy president position. And I will advise President William Ruto and Relo Dinga that they have made the best decision ever. The 2027 general elections is not far. Hiki to Nikujipanga pole pole. So the reason as to why William Ruto and Relo Dinga are replacing Professor Kidure Kindiki in the 2027 general elections with Governor Gladys Wanga First of all, it is because of the Mount Kenya region. You know, the Mount Kenya region where Professor Kiture Kindiki comes from, the Mount Kenya region east, whereby it consists of four counties, the Embu, Meru, uh, Tarakanidhi, and Kirinyaga, right? These counties here are not really supporting President William Ruto and Relo Dinga. Region where Kidure Kindiki comes from does not really support the broad based, the broad based government between Ruto and Reloading. And you saw yesterday what happened in Hembu County. So William Ruto appointing Professor Kidure Kindiki again in 2027 as his DP, it will be very, very risky. It will be very hard for William Ruto to win. Number two. It is because of the broad-based government. You know, the agreement between Raila Odinga and President William Ruto in the broad-based government is that because William Ruto is the president from the UDA party, then William Ruto must appoint his deputy president from the ODM party. And Gladys Wanga becomes the best choice for Raila Odinga and Mama Aida Odinga. You know, and that is why what happened in the course of this week is that Raila Odinga elevated Gladys Wanga. You saw what happened um, during the Thanksgiving ceremony of Gladys Wanga in Homapei County, where William, where Raila Odinga had attended. So Raila Odinga is already elevating Gladys Wanga to be seen as a national leader. That is what is happening to fit in the shoes of a deputy president. And number three, President William Ruto wants to be deputized by Gladys Wanga in 2027 general elections because of the gender card. You know, William Ruto wants to make history and Ruto wants to make Gladys Wanga to be the very first woman ever to be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. So I want us to wait and see how things will turn out to be. But those are the real reasons as to why Kidure Kindiki's replacement ahead of the 2027 general elections is looming. I don't have any advice to Kidure Kindiki because things will be as the way they will be. There is nothing that he can do because politics is a game of numbers. If you don't have numbers, then there's nothing you can do. Just like what happened to Rigathi Kashagwa. If Rigathi Kashagwa had numbers, 
if Rigathi Kashagwa had invested in parliament, you know, to have many MPs, Rigathi Kashagwa will still be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your views, your opinions in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more political updates. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember, my name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you.